Hello, my name is Vinetta and I am uh, originally from Latvia, but last 16 years I lived in Manchester, England. I really wanted to stay with Andris and Deborah at Obelisk Farm for two reasons. Firstly, I wanted to experience living in Latvian countryside and understand if I would like to move back to Latvia. But second reason and the main reason was the hemp itself. I think this plant is amazing because it can be used in so many ways. Myself, I'm a textile artist, but also I, I make clothes, I'm a seamstress. I have this dream that I would like to make my own fabric, but from the very beginning, from the seed, grow it, then harvest the plant, and uh, weave or felt my own fabric and I thought hemp would be a great plant to do that. That's why I, I took up the scholarship for two weeks to stay at Obelisk Farm and learn everything I can about Hemp Farm is located in a village called Obeliskas. But first thing I noticed cycling here that this village doesn't have any road signs. And it was a little bit confusing to find where exactly it is. We had an idea to make our own signs for the village where it starts and where it ends. And I had an opportunity to work with hemp fiber. We used raw unprocessed hemp fiber to wrap around wooden letters to create signs. We covered hemp fiber letters with PVA glue to protect it from the weather. PVA letters had to dry in the sun for a couple days. Meanwhile, I had the chance to participate in different projects at Obelisk Farm. When hemp fiber is taken off the stem, there is core left and this core can be chipped and used in building work. I really wanted to learn in practice how it is to insulate a building with using hemp. And I had this chance helping Andris to plaster over the hempcrete insulation. Obelisk Farm is always busy with visitors and workshops, so I had the great opportunity to learn how to make hemp paper. This is another way how to use hemp fiber and for me this is interesting because it's another step further to learn how to create my own fabric. I've never had made paper before but this type of technique reminded me of textile making called felting. Before taking Obelishki sign onto the road, we had to do last few touches. We needed to ask local residents who lived in Obelishkis for generations to establish borders where Obelishki village starts and where it ends. We placed first of the two road signs near the road which is heading out to town called Varakljani. And second sign we place near the road which is heading to town called Viljani. This is the way I came to Obeliski farm. Now Obeliskas are on the map for everyone to know where it is.